Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira Roadmap tutorial, we are going to learn about managing releases in Jira Advanced Roadmap. So release management in Jira Advanced Roadmap is absolutely simple and easy process and it will be really helpful when you are planning the different releases for specific projects or even combined projects. So let's get started. So first thing is how you can basically create releases out of the Jira Roadmap, right? So to enable releases or create the releases directly from the roadmap you simply have to go to the planning the the drop down here and you will see below teams you will have the releases as well so as soon as you will select releases it will display what all plan have you created as part of this jira roadmap plan and for those projects or the filters that you have pulled the issues for for those projects you can create the release now there is a concept of cross project release and release the cross project release are the releases for multiple projects say for example it is similar to the release or the deployment that you usually do so when we talk about release in the software development and um, you know delivery it is basically the work items that you need to do as part of the project and then deploy those to the production right so you are releasing a software so there is a certain uh, work item that needs to be done and as part of say for example android app and ios app we are developing certain features and we have certain releases so we'll be having releases right so for each of these products will we have the individual release we can create the individual release and then we can create the cross project release as well so let's quickly create individual releases and then I'll explain the cross project release so to create a release simply click on create release and say for example this is Android release 1 okay so I'll simply choose that and in the start date you have different options so as early as possible fixed date or relative to previous release date okay so if say for example you have a fixed start date and the release date that has been defined so for example your company or your project does quarterly release or monthly release depending on how what is the frequency of the release you can specify the release date so say for example my release one needs to start from uh, tomorrow and then fixed date of the release is basically just after a month so 29th of october okay so that's how you will create the release right so first release has been created similarly let's create a ios release and you will be having multiple releases there right so it's not just that you'll be having one release and similarly for this one i'll have the fixed date so for this one let's say as early as possible and when all the issues are completed right so you can choose the release date when all the issues in this particular project have been completed so there are multiple options that you can choose so i can choose that and then in order to create a cross project release so what exactly it is it is just for the reference purpose and the cross project release that you create do not get saved into the jira instance when you do the review changes right so when we do usually do the review changes the changes that you do in the plan usually get saved right so cross project releases are just for the plan and they are they group multiple releases and what is the benefit of the cross project release is that it will help you to organize and align the dates for release for the related releases say for example both of these releases are more or less going at the same time like in in a week's difference so you can when you have the cross project release you can see the details of both of the releases how they are going and then align the times accordingly or align them in the same date for those releases so i'll simply say cross project release one and then you can choose the project for which you want to include in the cross project release right so there are only two releases so we'll simply choose and create the cross project release so each of these releases have been created and let me create one more let me create one more ios release and uh, so say for example this is release 2 and this needs to start so if i choose the relative to previous release date then you can choose the whenever the previous release has happened when after how much time this release the next release will start so say for example one weeks after right and then the release it will be fixed so let's say this needs to go on 30th November okay so there are two releases that have been added for iOS now this is how you will add releases in Jira roadmap okay now if you go to the top level planning view 
and you will see that the overall here if you see the details so here now you can associate the work items to the releases right so the to the stories uh, the stories that need to go in a particular release that you can associate to the releases say for example this course catalog needs to go into the android release one so i can associate the release to the work items that are below this epic to release one and then the whole epic will be associated with android release one okay so that's how you will basically do the planning add the releases and do the planning based on the releases in the jira advanced roadmap now at the top if you'll see here you will see that this icon the green icon or the red icon based on whether the release is on track or not you will see the details at the top right so based on the release date so you'll see that release date is 30th of november which is two months from now and because this release is on track there is no delay that has been detected based on the planning that has been done or whatever information is available in this plan that is why it is showing as green and i can click on this highlight on the timeline and you will see the highlight appears okay the timeline appears now now if we go to the weeks or let's say months let's see what other releases are there okay so you'll see there are two releases that are shown here which are red okay if i click on that you will see that this is the android release which is off track and if you'll click on the details it will show you that it, this is off track by about a month so it will give you a clear indication when the releases are off track and why they are off track and about how much time they are off track right so you can basically once you plan the releases in the advanced roadmap you can keep an eye on what things are going on or how the issues are progressing and how the work item are progressing and based on that whether the release is on track or you need to basically work on or remove certain blockers to make sure that the releases are occurring on the time if you go to the cross project release right so the other one that is happening at the same time you'll see that this is this is on 29th october which is android release and then there is a cross project so if i click on cross project you will see that this is also starting on 38th and then it is having these two releases right so the first release which is basically this is this is the one that is off track because this is a, this needs to go on 29th october and it is about one month off track but the other one which is on the 31st of december is all good and doesn't have sort of any issues so cross project release basically will help you to align or make sure that you can track all the releases that are there in the project within uh, within, within the cross project release itself so if i go next here you'll see that it, it shows it moves to the next release okay now the next thing is say for example i want to align both my releases to one particular day right so this this is off track so it makes sense that we push the release date right because if your team doesn't have capacity and you are not able to make the release date then you'll be you know aligning it to the to another month or 15 days so how you can align the releases to one single date so if i click on edit the release right then here you'll see that this is off track and sorry not here we can basically click on here you will see that you have this align dates okay so in the cross project release you will get this align dates option but not in other releases that you created these are the individual releases but in the cross project if we go to the align dates then you have the option to align them to the fixed date okay or as early as possible and relative to previous date so depending on whichever suits best say for example i'll change both of the releases to december because my team has doesn't have the capacity and i'm sure they are they won't be able to complete the overall issues in the release so we'll move it and the release date so choose a release date that's later than the start date so basically the start date we have to looks like the start date is 30th of september okay, 30th of september is the start date let me align so let's say start date is 29th and then we'll change the release date too okay so all of the releases have been aligned to the same dates right so with just this change in the cross project releases then all of the releases that have been part of the cross project release have been aligned to the same start date and end date okay if i go to the top level planning now you will 
see that this particular icon will now show all of the releases iOS release okay and the other Android release and the cross project release they are all now aligned to the same date right so you'll see this is iOS release which is on the December okay and then the other one which is basically three releases so this is the one that is basically that we have just aligned all of the three releases are now aligned this was the previous one which is release two which we haven't planned as of yet in the combined release okay so this is basically brief about how you are going to do the release planning in the Jira advanced roadmap and utilize the power of Jira advanced roadmap to align the releases create the releases out of the project directly within the jira roadmap and then you can basically review the changes and once you save these changes in jira so say for example i'll save the changes then whatever releases i have created for these projects will be saved into jira except the cross project release which is only for the reference and it's only there within the jira roadmap other releases will be saved in jira okay so you'll see if i go to the project say for example android app i should be having that release available here now so you'll see android release is available with all the start and end date this was planned in jira advanced roadmap and is available for that particular project so that's all about the releases in jira advanced roadmap i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching